Hi, Dan and Benson. This is Christina from The Upcoming. It's lovely to speak with you today. To start things off, would you like to share what made you want to be a part of this film? You, this is a, it's okay. been a decade, I'm not, I don't really mean, but it's a decades long process for you. Yeah, it was. It, it, it began quite by accident. Uh, I was in a coffee bar in South Ken with a dear friend of mine and uh, we'd gone there, we went in there talking about uh, Scott and the Terra Nova and we came out talking about the endurance. It was his idea, not mine. And ironically enough, I tried to talk him out of it. I said, oh, you know, she's too deep. She's beneath the perennial ice of the Weddell Sea. The technology is not ready for this one. And thank God he didn't listen to me. It all went from there. Ten years it was in the making. But it was the hardest shipwreck. You found dozens of shipwrecks and this is mm. the hardest one to find, right? Because of the ice on the surface of the Weddell Sea, which is there pretty much year round. Even in the summer, it's choked with ice. It's 3,000 metres down. You're operating in the most difficult stretch of ocean on the planet. You're, ve you're the nearest people to you on the International Space Station. So it is, it is not easy. They, they called it the unreachable endurance, didn't they? The unreachable yeah. ship, but thankfully, uh, because of the skill of the team and and the engineering and the advances and the innovation uh, and and the incredible care that went into it, uh, Mentz and his team were able to find it. But it was a close close run thing. I mean, you know, another two or three days there, and we would not have found it. I mean, winter was upon us. You know, the temperatures were plummeting, and the captain was getting very nervous. He gave us another day, day and a half, uh, and we're, our backs are right up against the wall, and it happened. What was the moment, fact, or detail that each of you felt was vital to include in the film? So I think it was very important to show the conditions in which the crew were working to maintain the, the search. And that you have to work round the clock, 24 hours a day. At night, the temperature was plummeting. And the, the care with which they had to look after the equipment, the, the, the winch which the tether was connected to, the kilometers of fiber optic cable, um, the care with which the drones were kept and, the, and the, the process going on around the clock. It was very important to that their struggle, that team, the subsea team, were really shown as, as the heroes of the film. Absolutely. I mean, the team just integrated like, like that. Uh, you know, we went in there with absolute focus. We had one objective, find that ship. And everybody on board was an expert of one kind or another. We all brought something to the table. And in the end, it was our second attempt. The first attempt we failed miserably upon. Second attempt, we did it. Just. Were there any moments that you were surprised were included in the film? Yeah, there was one. There was uh, that moment where we found the deposit oh. of the wreck. Oh, God, it's so embarrassing. We, we, uh, <laughs> we found a, a deposit from the wreck. Basically, it was just longitudinal timbers which had fallen from the ice and just dumped there. And we thought it was the wreck and we went overboard with excitement. And we told everybody, you know, and we were jumping up and down, punching the air and slapping each other on the back. And, and it wasn't, it was just part of the wreck. That was, that was a surprise. A hundred minutes long, endurance couldn't include everything that happened. What were your favorite moments that were left on the cutting room floor? Well, I, I liked um, on, on the way down there, went through a very big storm in the Southern Ocean, which I thought was really interesting and exciting to be part of, you know, towering seas with the crest of the waves being blown off and the spray all over the water uh, and, and seeing the waves crashing over our, our ship. And I thought that was really important because it showed the, the, the waters through which Shackleton uh, was brave enough to lead his little um, ship, his little boat on the way to South Georgia. So I thought that was really exciting. I'm bit, I, I, that would have been a, a wonderful thing to see in the film, but you can't put everything in. The, the, yeah, the weather was, yeah, we didn't, there wasn't, the, there wasn't enough time, was there? Because there were, there were days there when I saw Dan on the back deck covered in snow. I'd have loved to have seen that in the film. Or some of those moments with nature, you know, those, oh, uh, yeah. you know, with the, the sea leopards and the emperor penguins, those minkies coming up at the stern yeah, of the ship the just minky blowing. Ones. There's a, yeah. lots of wonderful nature that sadly we weren't able to show yeah. as well. How did you know that Elizabeth, Chai and Jimmy were the right people to tell the story? Well, you got the world's best shipwreck. You've got the greatest story of survival ever told. And you got the world's best filmmakers who, who were going to get involved to come and tell the story. Like, of, of course, that was, that was going to be perfect for them. They've had a lifelong passion for Shackleton. They have a lifelong passion for nature and, and humanity's struggles with, you know, within the, some of the most dramatic spaces on the planet. So I was thrilled when they, when, they, uh, when they said they wanted to take this project on. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank Thanks. you.